Hey guys, welcome to data structure and algorithm using Java. I am Ripon Dutto. Today's topic is Fibonacci series or you can say Fibonacci sequence or Fibonacci number. So let's get started. Alright, in mathematics Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where first two numbers are 1 and 1 or you can say 0 and 1 and the next number should be previous sum of previous two numbers. So let's say our Fibonacci numbers are 1, then 1. So next will be sum of previous two numbers. That means 1 plus 1, which is 2. Then next will be 3, and so on. That means Fn equal F n minus 1 plus F n minus 2. So, this is now F1 and this is F2. So, F3 should be F1 plus F2. So, this is 1 plus 1, that means 2. So, this is F3. Now, for F4, we have to sum up the previous two number which is f2 and f3 that means 1 plus 2 which is 3 and likewise next one should be what f3 plus f4 that means 5 and next will be 8 and next will be 13 and next will be 21 and so on so this is a Fibonacci sequence all right now let's get started with Eclipse so go to file menu, new Java project, Fibonacci, okay, right click on the project, new class, let's say Fibonacci, implementation. Take the main method and finish. All right. So so let's take a method private a static integer fibu n. So integer f1 equal 1 integer f2 equal 2 so we can say if n equal 1 or n equal 0 then return oops a 2 and return 1 because first Fibonacci number is 1 and second Fibonacci number is also 1 or for integer i equal 3 2 i less than or equal n i plus plus so integer f equal 0 let's say integer temp So f equal f1 plus f2. Then for next integer temp equal f1 and f1 equal f2. Then f2 equal temp. Finally return f. So now 
let's say integer n equal 5 so fibu n that means fibu 5 oops y okay now let's debug it so put a breakpoint press f11 okay then I press f5 okay i equal 3 that means n equal 3 f equal 2 okay now f1 oops actually i have to change it not this way that means i can show you let's say for f5 it means f5 equal f4 plus f3 so it will be f1 equal f2 and f2 equal f now you can see 5 for f5 it is 5 for f6 it is 8 now let's see Eight and for F seven it is thirteen. Yeah. Now we can debug it. Let's say F five. So press F eleven, then F five, then press F six. Six F six. Okay. So F equal now two. So all right. Now I equal 4. Now F1 is 1, F2 is 2. Okay. Now I equal 5. So F1 is 2, F2 is 3. Which is this one? F1 is 2, F3 is uh, F2 is 3. So F1 F equal 5. So this is the way how to uh, how to find or how to make your Fibonacci number. In this way you can print all the Fibonacci number. This one you want to print, or you can use a for loop. Let's say I want to get thirty five. Okay, thirty five, which is this one, and let's say forty will take more time which is this one okay so thank you very much in the next tutorial i will show you how to write the fibonacci how to write this algorithm in recursive way and then i will show you how to write this um algorithm in dynamically in dynamic way thank you very much for watching this tutorial See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye bye.